is a demonstration that will show you how to use the machine to create a rolled hem and um, the difference between um, I guess using a, a regular um, well, I guess what what makes being able to do a rolled hem on the sewing machine is the type of foot that it has now on the back side of your machine here there's going to be a red button so what you need to do is you need to raise your your presser foot up and then hit that button and that that's what allows you to change feet and you have to have a specific type of foot to be able to do a rolled hem and so what I did was I um, went into my my different foot box <laughs> and selected the rolled hem foot and then on this um, on this foot there's a bar and that's what snaps back into the the arm of, of my presser foot holder oops I got my thread caught in there so I need to readjust that and all to, all I need to do to snap it into place is to place it underneath of of that foot and um, then just lower my presser foot it down into it and it snaps right into place now as you can see my sample here is not six by six um, and that's because I've been um, just making sure that I'm familiar with doing this roll to him and um, I've, I've gone through a couple tries and so um, as you're doing the sample in class I would recommend that if you do one and you're not happy with it um, just cut it off and try again um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the the wrong side of our fabric and the first thing that we need to do is we need to kind of um, give us a starting point to help to help curve that um, that edge the edge around to do that rolled hem. So what you're going to do is you're just going to snip off um, that corner a little bit and then come back along the long edge of your fabric and just um, fold it up um, about of an eighth of an inch if possible. Try to keep it fairly narrow all along the edge and then use your fingernail um, to do a finger press on that and that's what a finger press is is that you just use your finger and your fingernail to kind of create a crease um, create a crease or some sort of seam line in your fabric. It gives you a visual um, a visual line to follow without being um, pressed into place like with an iron. And um, on your, and then what you're going to do is you're going to line up your fabric underneath of your presser foot here and there's kind of these scoopy, these scoops to the foot. There's an under scoop and then there's an upper scoop. And um, I'll, I'll demonstrate this in class but I wanted to give you a video to follow too. And what you need to do is you need to start at that notched edge and just kind of feed, um, feed that notched edge through the scoops. And when you see this, when you see this um, in front of you, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to feed that, feed that fabric through until you can see it in the hole right underneath of your, of your needle. Now once you see it, then go ahead and lower your needle in. And um, I'm going to caution you because this is, um, I've done this quite a few times, is go slowly. Um, the faster that you go, the more errors that there's likely to be. And so once you have your needle inserted into there, um, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to make sure that this raw edge that you had folded up and finger pressed it fits into that loop. And then you're just going to go very slowly. And what I would do is as that fabric starts to coming out the back side, just gently... Um, gently nudge that through and just kind of keep it keep everything flat and again you're watching right here in the front to make sure that that raw edge of your fabric um, fits into it fits in between the the under scoop and the upper scoop on that the the turned rolled edge presser foot so again like I am going so slow and that's what you want to do to make sure that your fabric um, your fabric edges are being turned under as they need to be for this this foot this presser foot type to really work as it should so um, again you're just you're going really slow this is our we're keeping all of our um, stitch length consistent at two and a half and then I, I'm I'm approaching the end of this here and then I'm gonna do um, I'm just gonna do like one back stitch to keep everything in place and I shouldn't have any problems with that and I'm going to come back forward and finish it off and then raise my presser foot up and pull that pull that stitch line out um, and as you can see like it just made the tiniest of rolled hem and did a did a stitch right through everything and I caution you because I've done this a couple times before I made this video that the slower you go and the more 
um, the more attention you pay to making sure that this the raw edge curves under curves um, between both of the the um, the scooped edges on that foot um, the, the the less the I guess the fewer times you'll have to redo it because I probably did this about four times before I made this video because I was just not happy with um, the product that it that was being produced so go slow take your time and I'll, I'll demo this in class but it's always good to have um, to have a reference so again this is the rolled hem done by machine